So this channel focuses a lot on different pruning methods, and you can research a lot of options, but ever wonder what happens if you really chose not to prune your cannabis plants? This video here at Tobacco University will help give you some information on that. All right, let's get into not pruning cannabis plants and see what impact that has on production. So first off, if you have that untouched growth habit, we can see image right here. Unpruned or untrained cannabis plants grow like a Christmas tree, basically, kind of that nice triangular uh, shape. At the time of flowering, this will typically mean the plants will have a dense leaf canopy with minimal light penetration into the plant, to the inner portions. This result in smaller and typically weaker branches and buds, lower and deeper in the plant canopy because they're simply not getting a lot of light. These small buds are maybe called popcorn due to their small and minimal density characteristics. So this gets into the great debate of are you looking for quantity or are you looking for quality? So while it is possible for buds to develop with less light, it can come down to quantity versus quality. There is not a simple X amount of light equals X amount of ripening. Partially shaded buds can still produce quality buds, just may not be the highest quality. However, this style of growing will increase the amount of popcorn buds, which are smaller sized and typically have lower density, as we see in this image, compared to what's determined to be a higher quality bud located right here. Now, if we're not going to be pruning, that's, that's one option for growers. But even if you don't plan on that uh, pruning method, growers should still be going through and removing yellow leaves to reduce the chance of disease or insect uh, and have them kind of placed to initially become established. So, what we're trying to do is remove some leaves, even if we're not pruning, simply because some of the leaves could create a starting point for disease to start or insects to start, which would affect not only the entire plant, but any neighboring plants. So even if you're not gonna go through and prune, selective defoliation is still advised, and it helps you kind of inspect the plants individually, catch any problems uh, that might arise very early on, so you can implement corrective measures that will have the maximum chance of effectiveness.